Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I am back with another Fallout 76 build. And in today's build, we're going to be going over a lovely low health shotgun build. Now, before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, starting with the special, it's actually very well balanced. Strength 10, Perception 10, Endurance 10, Charisma 5, Intelligence 1, Agility 10, and Luck 10. Now, depending on the type of shotgun you're using, you might want to adjust that for more intelligence, just so you can have science, science expert, science master, uh, for the gorse shotgun, of course, just to make it a little bit stronger. For the legendary perk cards, I'll just show you all of them right now. As always, most of the time I do go with extra perk points, and that's what we're going with today. Extra strength, luck. Intelligence, Agility, Perception, and last but not least, Endurance. Now that will give an extra 5 points on all those categories, so we're sitting at 15, 15, 15, 5, 6, 15, 15. Pretty well balanced. Now I'm just going to let every single one of you have a look at the build, which cards that I'm rocking. Obviously, it's a shotgun build, so instead of rifleman or a commando, we're using shotgunner. So make sure you've got expert shotgunner, master shotgunner, and everything like that all maxed out. If you want it to be a dedicated shotgun build, make sure you do put on scatter shot. But if you want to be a little bit tankier, then feel free to have on blocker. It's your choice. So if you want to be a little bit stronger, um, damage damage resistance wise obviously damage migration uh, make sure you put on blocker but if you don't care about that and you trust your your killing skills then go with scatter shot just so you can reload a little bit quicker now perception there is only one shotgun card really that kind of really does actually properly help and that is skeet shooter make sure you have that on but everything else free in perception just go with any cards you feel that are gonna help you um, I've just gone with honestly what I believe would benefit me the most and other users because you might have a bloodied explosive shotgun um, hence grenadier but obviously we'll get into that as we go through the cards charisma pretty straightforward endurance all about just keeping ourselves alive ghoulish just so we can heal off rads radical rejuvenated for AP replenish fireproof for damage resistance ironclad once again for damage resistance when it comes to intelligence I'm just showing you now what I mean science master science expert and science if you're using um, an energy shotgun then that is what those cards you are gonna want to put on so for those purposes you might want to swap the build around a little bit but honestly how it is now it it works wonders for me enforcer that's another shotgun card that's on agility make sure you have that one on you are going to be stacking a lot of kills with this type of build so i am going with adrenaline i've decided to put dodgy on but if you want to feel a little bit safer take off dodgy and put on lone survivor so every time you go under a certain percentage of health your character will automatically stim pack just kind of keeps you going at that low health status now everything else just make sure you copy all those cards down but if you would do if you do want to incorporate it with your build or swap some cards around then feel free to do so but honestly this build works fantastic with shotguns it really really does um, the best example being the cold shoulder the cold shoulder shotgun um, with cryo damage oh my god this build with that shotgun is that's what we're using right now and it, it just melts through everything it really does I that's with that sing and without so I do like the fact that with this build because of our agility and because of our luck 
we can actually choose to that with the shotgun. So definitely don't throw that opportunity, but if you do want a straight hip fire, it's nice to know that we can do that as well. Now, when it comes to the shotguns we're actually going to be using in the video, I do have a quad explosive pump that I will also be showing off in the video, as well as my quad gorse shotgun, which I'm not going to lie, um, I'm surprised I, I didn't actually roll that, I was, that was dropped by a queen, and it is by far one of my favourite shotguns. I, I, don't, I used to use them all the time when I first started playing. Um, then I ended up getting a handmade and a really good Tesla rifle, then started on fixes and railways, so you could say it just got kind of lost in all the trends and all the other types of firearms there are in the game, but a shotgun is definitely a viable weapon, definitely a great, great choice um, for a beginner and for maybe end game use. Because I would say the shotgun, this shotgun build does cat If you can actually complete it and actually do all the legendary boat cards and everything, then I would say it is an end game build. But it would function and work completely fine without the actual legendary perk cards as well. So if you're just a beginning, a beginner, and you just come out the vault not long out of there, but you do like shotguns like the double barreled or pump shotgun or combat shotgun then this might be a build for you as well. But I'm going to wrap this video up here and just let you all judge, just judge it for yourselves. Obviously, I'll throw my character into some uncomfortable situations and we'll see how the build handles them. But if you have enjoyed this video at all, then please do drop a like on it. It really does help me out a lot. And if you are new around here, Please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family, but I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video.